Afternoon, lovely viewer. I hope you're well. I wanted to do a, uh, a quick video today of my garden because <laughs> it is finally starting to, to sing. I did start to get a bit worried about the many of the roses in my garden, but you can see here, this is Timeless Charisma. And it's really starting to, to do well. Let me have a, a check out the fragrance here. Yeah, there's a few updates that I wanted to that I wanted to do, and a few things that I that I wanted to say. I've had a bit of a move around. This is a potted rose, pure poetry. But you can see it's doing it's doing well, and a lovely a lovely flower. But it is up here for a reason, which I'll I'll get to in a a little while. But let's have a, a look here. This here is Summer Romance. And look at that. Look at the size of the flower there. That's second flush. Second flush there. And look at that flower. Summer Romance. Yeah, I, I did start to I did start to get worried there, but look at that. Look at that. What's the date today? June the twenty first. But you can see there's there's plenty more to come, and it's only this is only it's, it's well it's first full summer anyway. But you can see it's doing it's doing very well. But it has it has got some black spot here that I want to get in, so you can see it for a reason in fact i'll tell you why i've been asked on many occasions to do some video reviews of individual roses and it's something that i've always shied away from because i i kind of lack i lack the knowledge i lack the understanding i lack the terminology <laughs> i pretty much lack just about everything but one thing i have got is an awful lot of footage from last year um, and from, from this year. I've got a lot of fo footage that's been taken throughout the year. So what I lack in all of those things, I'm hoping to make up for in in footage. So you get to see how, how the roses perform in sort of June, July, August, September. And then you can make your, your own minds up through your your own eyes that's the idea anyway i have been asked like i say on on many occasions and it is something that i've that i have shied away from um in the past people have asked me about some sort of individual roses and i have in the comment section i have several occasions made people their own sort of personal video but it is something that i'm I'm toying with, but the garden it is starting to it is starting to sing now. But I think this year the weather has it just hasn't it just it's been so windy. I think is the is the main thing. But let me show you this here. This here is something that one of you knows all about. I've recently got back from Wales, and um, someone sent me this through the post and it is a rose cutting and the person who sent it to me is soul girl so i had to make a video today to thank her publicly for this i found it very very touching i was very moved by it it's only a year old and can you see that tap to focus it is a it is a cutting that is only a year old look at that that is fantastic growth she took it from a major stem and she took it last summer it's a summer cutting and it is amazingly successful from a thick stem now this rose we believe is sophie's perpetual um, if you know so soul girl if you follow her channel real name linda she moved into a house and she she has got or already had a fantastic rose in her garden. And um, 
she believes it is a rose by the name of Sophie's Perpetual. Fantastic rose that always seems to be in flower. And it was Jason from Fraser Valley Farms has kind of, he suggests that he thinks it's Sophie's Perpetual. So we're going with that, but we have given her a nickname of Miss Gorgeous. Fantastic rose. So Linda, thank you very much. I found that very moving. I found that very moving indeed. And it's gonna go in its own bed here. It's gonna be, it's gonna be standalone. So I wanted to say thank you very much to Linda. That was very much appreciated. But I wanted to show you a couple of things. There's, um, this is second flush now from here, from Amadeus. You saw the start of it in the, in the last video, but that is, that is budding up really well. And I'm pretty confident this will be, this will be flowering for, for all of the summer. Yeah, I'm gonna, I mean, look at, we have had a lot of rain just recently. So this one does need a good dead head the last three or four days, we did have some um, some heavy sort of rain form, uh, rain storms, short-lived heavy stuff. You know the stuff that does the maximum sort of damage. But Penelope Lively, that is a flowering machine. Oh, look at this, rosemary, uh, rosemary Hartness absolutely beautiful i have got things at the moment bunched up over here and they've it's bunched up over here for a for a reason <laughs> i'll get excited are you ready for it are you ready for it <laughs> now you're going to think to yourselves what is he on about it's just a patch of earth it is when i was away in wales we had this kind of excavated and turned into a a rose bed now you're probably looking at this thinking the car's too close. There is space for the car to go over a bit and it is a right-hand drive car. We drive on that side over here. Um, so there will be, in the unlikely event, a passenger ever gets in my car, they will have space to get out, but there's, there's plenty of space here. Room for easily six roses in, in my humble, but I'm really excited about that because we're gonna we're gonna get that planted up but look this is another thing this bed here is now starting to to come to life we're seeing lots of this red lots and lots of red now coming through for this second flush something that was lacking only a, a week or two ago but even if you even if you look down here you see lots of red from the new the new growth i did i was worried <laughs> i was worried because i hadn't seen bare naked lane before like you saw it in the in the last video but i honestly think it's the uh it's the weather it's the weather that's um that's doing it i can't this this rose lovely viewer this one and in my mum's one as well it does need a lot of dead heading and um we do need to do get rid of a lot of the the black spot yeah i'm i'm toying with the idea maybe maybe i'm not the right person to <clears throat> to do these rose review videos but um you know don't expect petal count or anything these things i don't or maybe i haven't got that much of an interest in you know these this here to me is is what is important you know seeing it like this this is leonardo da vinci this is a rose you haven't actually seen really this this year so so far its first flush was very sort of disappointing um but it did get a feed the same with emily bronte a lot of the potted roses i i gave a feed and they have responded very well too but this is a this is a lovely flower a flower that lasts a long time and um, is good in the is good in the weather as well. But finally, she's she's starting to bud up and and put out some some growth. But I wanted to just to just do that today. I'm going to leave you with Rosemary Hartness. Um, yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to thank Soul Girl. That was uh, that was fantastic, and show you the um, the new the new bed as well.
Right, lovely viewer, I hope you have a lovely evening.